Joining me now is former federal prosecutor and member of the House Judiciary Committee, Virginia Congressman Ben Klein. Congressman, good to see you again, sir. As mentioned, the government is in full Democrat protection mode. Your committee is subpoenaing uh, two senior IRS and FBI officials over meetings where special hunter Biden protector David Weiss allegedly said he didn't have the ultimate authority to bring charges against Hunter. This follows a string of Weiss controversies like revelations that he never intended to make Hunter plead guilty to any crime, Congressman. His dragging out of a five-month investigation into a five-year investigation, his sweetheart blanket immunity deal for Joe Biden's crackhead son. Legal experts say that Weiss is there to thwart guys like you, Congressman, GOP investigators into the Bidens. One Republican has introduced a bill to defund Inquisitor Jack Smith. Shouldn't the same be done for Mr. Weiss, and will the GOP do that? Well, it appears that Mr. Weiss was appointed in contravention of the laws surrounding the establishment of the position. So you have to uh, be from outside of government. Mr. Weiss was not from outside of government. So it falls to Congress. We don't have Article 2 powers, so we can't arrest anybody, but we sure can defund positions that were illegally established. So I think there will be a look at defunding that position until Merrick Garland, who himself has to answer for giving false statements to Congress about um, Weiss having the authority uh, that it turns out he didn't ever have. Mm -hmm. You know what, sir? And, and if he doesn't have our money, if Mr. Weiss doesn't have our taxpayer money, he can't interfere with Republican congressional investigations. That's just a fact, sir. Joe Biden, uh, by the way, taking time away from his busy vacation schedule to visit the aftermath of the devastating Maui wildfires. As I played off the top, he compared the, the Maui devastation to a small kitchen fire he experienced where he almost claims he lost his cat. And he apparently nodded off at a ceremony honoring the victims he also blamed climate change, of course, for Democrat incompetence, not the myriad failures of his own Democrat Party. Because the left hires to check boxes, Congressman, not check qualifications. What will the GOP do to make sure there is accountability for this tragedy in Hawaii? Well, we're going to make sure that the people in Hawaii get the aid that they need during this terrible time. Uh, the president has made just a, a, an embarrassment of himself, of the office of the president during his trip. And now to propose that uh, we give more money to Ukraine, more money than ever would go to Hawaii or its victims, uh, is an insult to those who have lost family members or loved ones as well. Yeah, well, you know, $700 to every Hawaiian citizen who was impacted by this compared to the billions and billions and billions of dollars over to Ukraine. I'm, I'm sure Democrats will figure out a way to justify that. Speaking of Democrats, Chuck Schumer, he claims he has a deal with Speaker Kevin McCarthy to pass what's called a continuing resolution, which is irresponsible budgeting, uh, for more spending at dangerously high and fiscally irresponsible levels. Uh, Congressman Chip Roy and other conservatives, they're calling this a non-starter is Schumer telling the truth, Congressman, or is he sowing discord by lying about a so-called CR deal? Well, just like Joe Biden, Chuck Schumer plays fast and loose with the truth. And, and so it remains to be seen whether there's some deal between House and Senate leadership. But what is fact is that the Freedom Caucus wants popular policies like H.R. 2, our border security bill, to be included as part of any House continuing resolution. We don't want, and the taxpayers don't want, a continuation of the Nancy Pelosi omnibus bill uh, that was unfortunately passed uh, last November in a lame duck session uh, with Republican votes. That is not what voters want. More of the same deficit spending and Freedom Caucus members want to stop. With the blessings of Mitch McConnell and John Cornyn and others. Congressman Ben Klein, great to see you, sir. Come back soon.